It is impacted as planned. Impacted as planned technique is a pro, uh, prospective analysis technique which mainly depends on the baseline schedule and provide impact assumptions regarding the delay events. Okay. In other words, impacted as planned. You bring your baseline schedule and you start putting the events in this baseline schedule. So you put your events in your approved baseline schedule uh, and this method in my opinion is the best method however it has some advantage and disadvantage so let's see why it is the best method so far impacted as planned is very simple the simple technique and apply the delay event on the baseline schedule will generate the impacted schedule so you have impacted schedule also uh, which is not uh, available in the other two methods uh, impacted or influence schedule influence schedule or impacted schedule are the same so this is the advantage or the main properties of this method the advantage it is suitable for complex projects so you can apply this method in complex projects it is it has less argument with the client and let me elaborate in this point why it has it has less argument with the client because you are basing all your argument based on an official documents you are basing your argument on the approved time schedule which is official approved documents the events are based on uh, uh, official correspondences between you and the client so everything here is has reference in the other two methods you cannot refer to your progress because your progress is not an official however if you submitted this progress to the client at uh, during the project life cycle i don't think that the client reply you back okay approving the your progress percentage for example there is one argument could be no 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 you didn't finish 50 percent of this activity you finish only 40 percent by this time and you can open hundreds of doors for argument so in my opinion impacted as planned it has less argument with the client it is simple clear and supported with documents as we explained before however the disadvantages for this method this method does not consider actual progress because it is impacted as planned and no delay mitigation is considered and this is important as a client i would ask you if you have delays to mitigate these delays and submit a mitigation plan if it is applicable if, or if you can do it but when I'm using the impacted as planned, there is no room for mitigation here. However, I, 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 I bypassed this uh, problem by after completing my analysis and completing everything using impacted as planned, sometimes I give some credit to the client. Like, okay, according to this method impacted as planned, uh, I am entitled for 45 days. However, we as a contractor, a class, we did some mitigation plan and we reduced this 45 days to only 30 days. So our mitigation plan, here it is, we uh, reduced 15 days from the delays. And the other uh, disadvantage in this method it does not show contractor delays okay as we said in this course that we will be dealing like a contractor you are now a contractor so as a contractor why i should give the client my delays why i should commit my delays that's why i prefer the impacted as planned method for contractors i don't want to give the client my delays However, if he asked about my delays, my answer would be, okay, I am entitled for 100 days of delays and I finish the project 
only 95 days after the original project completion date it means your delays is more than my delays if you have a case against me mr client you are welcome to raise it but don't ask me to raise a case against myself and this is my my opinion you may you might have another opinion uh, some some clients or consultants they force the contractor to uh, show the contractor delays which i think it is not fair because as a contractor why i should submit something against myself so this one ad this advantage to be taken into consideration impacted as planned is very simple all what you need to do is to assign approved schedule as a baseline then you add events in new wps work breakdown structure and link them to the relevant schedule activities new or uh, existing a schedule and you run the schedule and identify the delays duration so it is very simple and straightforward three steps let's see how it look like you have here activity abc this is the original schedule you have you put here the delays sorry you identify here the events and link the delays this red color and you run the schedule and you can see the impact immediately